Radio Rahim here with the chairman, Bob Arum. As usual, Bob, you're you know at the helm of another fight. Here we go again. You've got Timothy Bradley and Brandon Rios in the ring. Talk to me about how you put this fight together and why you feel like it's an exciting bout. Well, this is the best fight out there. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the public uh, will be offered. They were offered one pay-per-view fight uh, l last Saturday. And they have two more pay-per-view fights coming up. Uh, but this is the uh, best fight on non-pay-per-view uh, for this period of time. And it matches two guys who give their all in the ring, Timothy Bradley uh, and Brandon Rios. And it's, I think, going to end up the fight of the year. Well, you've never been shy about your criticism of Mayweather or even Andre Berto, but since you brought it up, the pay-per-view fights now, they seem to be uh, more run-of-the-mill, like an easier thing to achieve. Do you feel like the pay-per-view standards have become lower? Should, should there be better fights before you can call a pay-per-view event? Well, uh, no. I think, you know, if, if somebody does a fight on pay-per-view, then what they're saying is let the public decide. Not promoters, uh, not uh, commentators, but the public. And if the public wants to buy it and pay enough money and make it worthwhile, that's okay. It's like Golovkin Lemu. I mean, should that fight be on pay-per-view? Probably be better if it wasn't. But, you know, the public will decide. Certainly Canelo Cotto deserves to be on pay-per-view. That would be a fight that would, in any era, be on pay-per-view. Well, most likely, your next pay-per-view, or certainly a pay-per-view you're going to do, is Pacquiao's next opponent. Have you come to uh, a decision about who that will be, or what is the narrowed field? Who are you looking at? Well, we, we were looking at, um, at, at three uh, candidates. Uh, Khan, uh, Brooke, uh, the two English guys, uh, and Terence Crawford. And then uh, uh, we're now also considering Matisse, who has a fight on HBO with Postal uh, in the beginning of October. And uh, ultimately we may look at uh, Juan Manuel Marquez if he decides to make a comeback. Now, for Khan's sake, there's been uh, discovery, or at least impressive uh, accounts, that maybe he's willing to leave Al Heyman for this fight, disappointed that he couldn't get the Mayweather fight. Have you had any discussions about taking Amir Khan on, and is that necessary for him to fight Pacquiao, for him to leave Heyman? No, he doesn't have to leave Heyman. I mean, he can do what he wants with Heyman, uh, according to the Khan people. They have every right to fight whomever they want. And if that's the case... Uh, whether they pay Heyman or not pay Heyman is their business. Nothing to do with me. You would have no problem to work. I mean, you'd be essentially working with Al Heyman to make that fight if, if that be the case. No, that's not correct. I would work with the con people to make that fight. And when we talk about Terrence Crawford, a lot of, especially inside boxers, he may not be a huge star, you know, crossover just yet, but those who know boxing feel like he may be the heir apparent, maybe the next guy up to, to dominate in this sport. How do you feel about that, and why is that a good fight for a Pacquiao? I mean... Well, I don't say it's a good fight for him, but, you know, it's uh, horses with courses. Uh, Manny is going to take the best guy, risk-reward, and determine who he fights. I mean, anybody who says that it's my decision is crazy. It's, this is all Manny's decision. Manny, and I guess after consulting with Freddie, will pick the opponent they want to fight. Of course, when we come to Manny Pacquiao, everyone's talking about the shoulder rehab, saltwater. Where is it? What's actually going on? What, what, what is the what's the real story there? What what is the the progress of Manny Pacquiao's rehabilitation, and how has he done it? Has he actually followed the doctor's orders, or is this something he's doing on his own through faith? Well, I think uh, it's probably the latter. Uh, uh, Pacquiao. Uh, apparently is getting an MRI in the Philippines this week. He'll send it to Neil Elitrosh for an evaluation. He claims that the shoulder is completely healed and he has absolutely no pain or uh, soreness or anything uh, from uh, the operation. So 
uh, we'll have to see. But I'm not making a fight for Manny Pacquiao until he's 100% cleared by Dr. Elitch Rush. And lastly, Bob, it's also been reported that 2016 is Pacquiao's last year in the ring. Is that true from your perspective? Is that a discussion that you've had? And if so, how do you think Manny Pacquiao is best fitted and suited to end that career in 2016? Well, I'm not sure 2016 is the last year. You know, fighters are fighters. Manny Pacquiao is a fighter. Uh, at one point, he tells me he has three more fights left. Another point, one fight, then two fights. He'll have to see, you know. It's tough for these guys to leave the spotlight. But there's plenty of spotlight on Manny Pacquiao because of his political career. He's going to run for Senate in the Philippines. That's a big job being a Philippine senator, as it is here in this, uh, this country. So we'll just have to see where life leads him. Uh, for me to make a prediction about what Pacquiao is going to do in the future is as bizarre for me to do as to predict what Floyd Mayweather is going to do. People ask me, do you think he's going to come back? I said, no, he probably doesn't know. If you asked him and put him under a lie detector test, he couldn't give you an answer whether he's going to stay retired or come back. Putting Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather's name in the same sentence, it's been coming upon me to ask you how you feel about this recent scandal, if you will, about the, what, the activities before the Manny Pacquiao-Floyd Mayweather fight. Do you feel like there should be some type of reprimand from, for Mayweather for that, or the fight should be a no contest? Where do you come down on what you know so far? Well, you know, I don't think we're in uh, grade school where reprimands mean anything. So, you know, the fight happened, the result was in, anything that goes on now is meaningless. Thank you. Radio Rahim with the chairman of Top Rank, Bob Arum.